So you've officially passed your two-year anniversary in the UFC, still undefeated in the company. How you describe the ride so far? Uh, I don't even think much about it, man. I just keep going, keep looking forward. I didn't even realize it's been two years. Well, congratulations all the same. Thank you, thank you. You're up against a guy with the style of Johnny Walker. What's the most difficult part of preparing for a guy who's so unorthodox like that? Um, I guess the unpredictability, if that's a word. I think I just made that up. I don't know. I'm cutting, so I can do that right now. Uh, the fact that you can't really predict what he's going to do because he more than likely probably don't know what he's going to do until it just bang happens. So that, you know, not being predictable. Do you bring in guys specifically, you know, he's a very tall guy for the weight class. Do you bring in new people to mimic him or how do you, I guess, what do you do with that? I don't need to, man. I've been training with Kennedy and Zitigul since for three or four years now. So I think I got his name right. Yes. <laughs> I hear you. Um, do you expect him to fight a little differently because he's lost two straight? Obviously, like any fighter, he definitely doesn't want to be down 0-3. Um, I mean, I would assume so. Uh, he's making moves around going to different camps and, and all of that. So, I mean, I would think maybe, I, I don't really know. I just execute my, what I'm going to do and, you know, it doesn't really matter. Final question for me, for yourself, what do you most want to show in this fight? Um, that... I don't know. I don't even think about it. I just want to win. He's ahead of me. He got the number that's better than mine, and I just want that number, a better number. So that's, I really don't think about what I really want to show and whatnot. Just just get the job done, you know. Hey, thank you, Ryan. Good luck. Right, thank you. We'll go next to Damon Martin with MMA Fighting. Your line is open. Hey, Ryan, uh, obviously you got a, a win in your last fight, but it was a battle, and it was you know kind of the first time you had to dig deep in the UFC. Yeah, I know no, you had... it wasn't much of a battle, man. I don't mean to cut you off, but yeah, you know, it was more. He had one good minute in fifteen. Well, what what do you take like when you have that where you have that one minute of you know maybe a bit of a scare there? Like, what do you take away from that? Do you just kind of move on and just not think about, it, or do you learn something from that kind of moment? Um. You kind of eventually get to the point where you move on, but in all things, you want to grow and become better either way. Um, but like, as far as the scare, it wasn't much of a, I was fine the entire time. It just, it wasn't like I was going to get finished. It was like, I was there thinking and I was coherent and whatnot and just look bad. I give him that, but <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't much of a scare. I knew how much time I had. Yeah, you mentioned the ranking part of Johnny Walker as that number, and that's what's most important to you. We're kind of at a restart in a little bit of a way of the light heavyweight division. John Jones is gone. We're going to crown a new champion very soon. Uh, it, what do you think about the light heavyweight division right now? Is it kind of fun? You know, not that obviously John Jones amazing, greatest of all time, but you know, we are kind of at a point now where we're going to kind of have a reshuffling of the deck. Um, I don't think much about the division. Like uh, as far as John, it was more I was looking more towards the uh, lineage of the title being broken. Um, other than that, man, I don't, I don't care. You know, I, I don't know. It, whatever happens, happens. You know, all I know is I do my job this weekend and I become maybe two, two fights away from a title fight. Let me ask, because Johnny came into the UFC, had you know several big wins in a row, and immediately people are talking about him fighting John Jones, and he's the next big thing, and he's this and he's that, and he loses two fights in a row, and now everyone's suddenly saying, oh, he was never that good, he's a bum. It's the weirdest thing about hype in this sport. Uh, what do you think of Johnny Walker? Is he more the guy we saw in those first couple of fights where he was you know tearing through people in 15 seconds, or are we seeing more reality now that he's kind of facing different competition? Like, where do you feel like Johnny you know, sits in terms of talent. I don't know, man. It's not my concern. I just want to beat him, finish him. And uh, last I, thing. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to get my opinion on that one. But uh, yeah, I just do my job. And last thing I've been asking everybody, obviously big fight this weekend uh, beyond your fight, main event, Colby Covington, Tyron Woodley. Do you have a prediction? Do you see how that one's playing out in, in your mind? I don't know. Um uh, 
Tyron looks good. Uh, just passed him in the hallway. He looks good. Um, and I'm, I'm a fan of Tyron, so maybe that that's probably, if I had to pick, that's what I would go with. But I don't really, I don't think past anything, like really get my fight done and leave.